Are you ready, kids? Hello and welcome. This tutorial is produced by PhotoshopIsland.com, your source for fun and practical Photoshop extras, from brushes to complete layer designs. Welcome to the 30 2010 Calendar Brushes and EPS Files, Volume 1. This is the advanced tutorial for this product, and what you see here on screen is the end results of the tutorial that we're about to jump into. So let's jump into this advanced tutorial. I had an idea for doing maybe something like a poster size calendar. So this would be something I would ha have printed out really large. I'm not going to try to set up the exact size or anything in this tutorial. I just want to kind of show how I use the uh, calendar EPS file to get about it. So my idea is that I want to uh, cut this picture up and put the calendar right in the middle of it. So uh, let's jump in and try to put this together here. I, I'm going to bring my layers up here. The first thing I want to do is I'm going to double click on this and uh, we'll just call this uh, boy number one. And um, that's going to give me the ability now that it's no longer set to background to move this around. And what I want to do is I'm just going to move this over here a little bit and try to split his face just about right down the middle. And then I want to use the other half of his face. So I'm going to hold down on the option and uh, click and drag. And I get a duplicate that I can move over. Now this is the other side of his face. So it looks a little bit different on both sides. Now the one bad thing is I've got this line going right down the middle. Um, and what I think I'll do is I'm just going to try to blend that out. Now I think this lighter color will blend better than this dark color. So I'm going to move our first boy layer up and uh, I'm just going to grab a chunk of this and uh, I'm going to copy it. I'm going to paste it and then I'm going to transform it. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. I'm going to drag it over here a little bit over here to the edge of this image and uh, so I've got some overlap there and I still got a line there so what I'm gonna do is use the blur filter I'm gonna go here to blur Gaussian blur and then I kinda wanna check out this area I've got <laughs> by default it jumped up there to 85 that must have been something I had it set to but um, you kinda can play with this now I'm working with a very high resolution image this is an image that I took with my Canon 5D which is a 21 megapixel camera so these these numbers are extremely high. You may not need to uh, have this this high to to get a soft blend, but you can see we're getting we're getting a nice uh, well that's not going to show us too well because it doesn't show all the layers, but we're getting a nice transition here. We can kind of see if we zoom in here a little bit. Um, you know, there's not a hard line in there, in there, so I, I maybe I'll go up to about 80. It doesn't look like I'm bleeding. Well. I might go a little bit higher than that because I'm, I'm still seeing a little bit of a line there. Maybe go up to 100. We're almost maxed out. But basically we've got a, a somewhat smooth transition there. Now I've got the base art for my calendar. So what I'm going to do, since this is such a high resolution image, a brush would not work because a brush is only the maximum size that a brush can be is 2,500 pixels in any direction. And this picture is much larger than that. As a matter of fact, just to kind of give you an idea of how big this is, I'm going to zoom this into 100%. And um, let's move over just a little bit here, and you can see. <laughs> that gives you a little bit of an idea of, of really how uh, big. Use the hand uh, tool here a little bit, move around. These are the goggles zoomed in real big. So you get a sense of how big this image really is. So 2,500 pixels is not going to be big enough for a calendar. And I'll be able to blow this up into a poster if I like. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to place, I go under File, Place, and I've already uh, browsed over here to my um, calendar files, and I'm going to place, um, I think I want to use Bold and Tall, and um, I'm going to use the Reversed Box 3x4. So there is, there is that. I'm going to click Place. And here's my calendar. Now it came in black, which is the default that these have been designed at. But we'll take care of that in just a second. Now you could change the color of that uh, EPS file 
an Illustrator or some other application that allowed you to um, edit your um, your designs, your uh, EPS designs. But just for simplicity's sake, I'm just going to drop this in here just as it is. And that black's not too pretty, but there's a way to make it blend in with our color scheme. I'm going to go to Overlay, and it's going to pick up uh, the blue colors that we have in our uh, picture. So now we've got something that has a nice blend to it. And you can try some other ones too, Soft Light, or I, I accidentally picked Hard Light. Soft Light actually is pretty nice too. Now I want to show you again. I'm going to zoom in again, 100%. Look at the detail. You're going to get a beautiful, clean print from this. Uh, th this would be fine for a poster resolution. So you can see that looks real good. And uh, there you have it. Another uh, nice use for the calendar tool. And um, take a look at the other uh, products and other calendar uh, tutorials at uh, PhotoshopIsland.com. Don't forget to check out PhotoshopIsland.com for a bonanza of fun and practical Photoshop extras. From brushes to complete layered designs.